and welcome to the Storybook Shed. My name is Anne and the story I'm going to read for you today is The Legend of the Poinsettia. And this story is written and illustrated by Tommy DePiola. But before I begin, I really ought to explain that a legend is a story that people have been telling for a long time, sometimes even hundreds of years. And although the story may not be true, it does help us to understand something special. So get comfy, snuggle in and get ready to listen. Lucida lived in a small village high up in the mountains of Mexico with her mama, her papa, and her younger brother and sister, Paco and Lupe. Papa worked in the fields with their donkey, Pepito. And every evening, Lucida fed Pepito and gave him fresh water and filled his stall with fresh straw. At home, Lucida helped Mama to keep their little house clean and she patted out the tortillas for them to eat. She took care of Paco and Lupe too. And each evening, they went to the church of San Gabriel to see if fresh candles were needed. She was a very busy girl. But every day was not work. On Sundays, the family went to San Gabriel, the church in the square, where Padre Alvarez preached each week. And all through the year, there were fiestas and holy days which always began with a procession that wound through the village and ended up in San Gabriel. One day, close to Christmas, Padre Alvarez came to the little house. Ah, Senora Martinez, buenos dias. Good day, he said. I'm here to ask you about the blanket which covers the figure of the baby Jesus in the Christmas procession. We have used the same one for so many years that it's almost worn out. Because your weaving is so very fine, I've come to ask if you would make a new one. Oh, Lucinda's mother said, I would be so honoured and Lucida will help me. On Saturday, Lucida and Mama went to the market to buy the wool for the blanket and they chose the finest yarn they could find. At home, Lucida helped Mama to dye the wool into all the colours of the rainbow. These colours will shine throughout the church, Papa said, as he watched Lucida and Mama string the yarn onto the loom to weave the blanket. As Christmas drew closer, everyone in the village was busy. All the mamas were making gifts to place at the manger of the baby Jesus in the church. The papas worked together putting up the manger scene inside San Gabriel. Lucida and the other children went to the church for singing practice for the Christmas Eve procession. When everyone in the village would walk to San Gabriel singing and carrying candles. Once inside, Padre Alvarez would lay the figure of the baby Jesus in the manger and the villagers would all go up and place their gifts around it. Our gift will be the blanket for the baby Jesus, Lucida said. I am helping Mama to weave it. 
One afternoon, just before Christmas Eve, Lucida and the children were singing in the church when Senora Gomez came hurrying in. Oh, Lucida, you must come home. Your mama is sick and your papa is to take her into town to see the doctor. You must take care of your brother and sister until your papa returns tonight. Lucida was frightened. Mama had never been sick before. When she got home, Paco and Lupe were both crying. They were frightened too. Lucida tried to comfort them. She made them some food, she put them to bed and she sat down to wait for Papa. That evening, Papa came in looking tired and worried. He drew Lucida in close and he said, Lucida, your mama is ill and I must go back and stay in town with Mama and bring her home when she's better. But that won't be until after Christmas. Senora Gomez will take care of you and Paco and Lupe when I'm gone. The next afternoon, Lucida heard two women talking. Lucida's mama's ill. She won't be able to finish the blanket for the procession. Isn't it a shame? See, the other women said, we're all so disappointed. Padre Alvarez will have to use the old one. When Lucida went home to feed Pepito and get clothes for Paco, Lupe and herself, she looked at the unfinished blanket on the loom. Perhaps I could finish it, she thought. It is our gift for the baby Jesus. But when she sat down and tried to weave, the yarn got tangled. She was too little. The more she tried to untangle it, the worse it got. It was no use. She would never be able to finish it by herself. She took the unfinished blanket to Senora Gomez. Oh, Lucida! It's so tangled. There isn't time for me to fix it, Senora Gomez told her. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Lucida started to cry. It was her fault the blanket was ruined and her family wouldn't have a gift to place at the manger of the baby Jesus. Don't worry, Lucida. We'll all go to the procession together, said Senora Gomez. Lucida didn't say anything, but in her heart, she felt she had ruined Christmas. Come Paco, come Lupe, it's time to go to the procession, Senora Gomez called on Christmas Eve. Where is Lucida? But Lucida was nowhere to be found. Lucida was hiding from the shadows. Lucida watched everyone gather for the procession. The candles were lit, the singing began, and the villagers walked to San Gabriel, carrying their gifts to place at the manger. Lucida walked along in the darkness behind them and watched the procession go into the church, followed by the Padre carrying the baby Jesus. Little girl, are you Lucida? An old woman stood in the shadows nearby. See, Lucida answered, wondering who she was. I have a message for you. Your mama is going to be fine and your papa will bring her home soon. So don't worry. Go now into the church and celebrate Christmas with the others. I can't, Lucida told her. I don't have a gift for the baby Jesus. Mama and I were weaving a beautiful blanket, but I couldn't finish it and I tangled it all up. Ah, oh, Lucida, any gift is beautiful if it's given freely, the old woman told her. Whatever you give, the baby Jesus will love because it comes from you. But what can I give now? Lucida said, looking around her. 
A patch of tall green weeds grew in a tangle nearby. Lucida rushed over and picked an armful. Do you think these will be all right? She said, turning to ask the old woman. But she had gone. Lucida walked into the church. It was blazing with candlelight and the children were singing. And Lucida walked quietly down the aisle with a bundle of green weeds in her arms. What is Lucida carrying? Someone whispered. Why is she bringing weeds into the church? Someone murmured. Lucida reached the manger. She placed the green weeds around the stable and then she lowered her head and she prayed. A hush fell over the church. Voices began to whisper. Look at the weeds. Look at the weeds. Lucida opened her eyes and looked up. Each weed was tipped with a flaming red star. The manger glowed and shimmered as if it was lit by a thousand candles. And when everyone went outside after the service, all the clumps of green weeds throughout that village were shining with red stars. Lucida's simple gift had indeed become beautiful and it brought blessing to the whole village. And every Christmas to this very day, the red stars shine out on the top of the green weeds in Mexico. The people call the plants La Flor de Noche Buena, the flower of the holy night, the poinsettia, we call them. This plant here, that's a poinsettia, the very same plant that filled Lucida's church and village on that Christmas Eve long, long ago. Although the legend and the plant come from Mexico, lots of people in Scotland like to have a poinsettia in their house too. Although I don't know if they all know about this legend. I hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Storybook Shed. Until the next time, bye.